Are you unsure of what you're actually able to do during combat for Star Wars RPG? Welcome to the Tabletop Empire, my name is Nate, and today I'm going to be going through all the options for actions and maneuvers listed in the core rulebook. If you would like a refresh of the other rules for combat, I actually have three videos that you can check out, I'll put a link in the description. There's a combat overview, special bonus action combat rules, as well as damage and healing. So when your character is in combat, you get one maneuver and one action per turn. Let's start with the different kinds of maneuvers that you can take. A maneuver is something that is generally easy to perform with a little bit of time or effort. The maneuver options in the book, though, are pretty generalized to cover as many options as possible. However, you're not limited to this list. This list is not exhaustive. Your imagination is the limit, so long as your GM agrees that whatever you're trying to do can be done realistically within one maneuver. So the maneuvers in the book are aim, assist, guarded stance, interact with the environment, manage gear, mount or dismount, move, drop prone or stand from prone in preparation. So let's dive into each of these. For aim, there are actually two options available. The first option is you get a boost die on your next combat check, and if you are aiming for two consecutive maneuvers, then you get two boosts. The second option for aiming is you could target a specific part of the target or a specific item, so shooting a blaster out of an enemy's hand, shooting his leg to cripple him, etc. If you do this, your next combat check suffers two setback dice, and if you spend two consecutive maneuvers aiming, then the next combat check only suffers one setback. Assisting in combat allows an ally to add a boost die to another engaged player's next check. Several characters can use the assist maneuver to add bonus boosts to the engaged ally's next check, but all bonus dies must be used on that character's next turn or they are discarded, and the GM can determine that some actions can't be or don't benefit from assistance. Guarded Stance can help your character defend against melee attacks. Your character gains one melee defense as well as they get one setback dice to all combat checks until the end of your next turn. Interacting with the environment is when you interact with whatever's around you. The book gives three specific examples of moving a large object, so maybe flipping a table or knocking over a stack of boxes, opening or closing a door, or taking cover, so maybe behind a rock or peeking around a tree trunk. Taking cover gives your character a range defense of one, unless whatever's covering you is particularly sturdy, then it could be more. Your player character remains in cover until you either move or the circumstances change in a way that you're no longer benefiting from the cover. Mounting or dismounting an animal or vehicle takes a maneuver. If mounting an untrained animal, then you would also need Need to do a medium survival check, but the GM can make it harder depending on the animal. Move is probably the most common maneuver. It takes a single maneuver to go between short and engaged range, or engaged to short range, or to move within short range, or moving between short and medium range. The player can use two maneuvers to move between medium and long range, or long and extreme range. When spending two maneuvers to move between these longer range bands, the player doesn't have to use those two maneuvers in one turn. Maybe this turn he's in long range and he moves closer, and then he shoots at the long range difficulty. And then next turn he moves closer again, and then shoots. The second shot would be in the medium range difficulty, since he spent the two required maneuvers over two turns and then shot after he moved into the medium range. The player can drop prone or stand from prone. While prone though, enemies will suffer one setback dice to attacks against you, but they gain one boost die for any melee attacks against you. Preparation is used for some actions that require preparation to perform safely. Normally this is used with another ability, which will typically have prepare under the requirements. And make sure you spend a maneuver to blast that like button. Thanks! Next up are the types of actions, and the listed actions are exchange an action for a maneuver, activate an ability, activate a force power, perform a skill check, and perform a combat check. Most of these are self-explanatory. Exchanging an action for a maneuver is just taking two maneuvers on your turn instead of a maneuver in an action. Activating ability is using an active ability from your talent tree or maybe a species ability or whatnot. Activating a force power is just using a force power. Performing a skill check is just about anything that requires you to use your general skills to resolve a check. So for example, walking doesn't really have a chance of failure, so there's no skill check and is instead a maneuver. Unless your character is one of those people who will just trip on flat pavement for no reason. Just kidding. However, trying to climb a tall fence does have a chance of failing, and so it would require an athletics check. And then performing a combat check is when you try to hit or shoot someone or something with a weapon using combat skills. All of the rules for this we covered in our combat overview video, again, link in the description. 
But the brief version is, is that you decide who you want to attack, you roll the dice, you determine the results, and then you resolve advantage and triumphs, and then you resolve threat and despair, and then you calculate damage and apply any potential critical injuries. And that is everything. If you guys have a question, please drop a comment down below. I do my best to answer everybody. If you found this video helpful or if you learned something new, please do me a favor and blast that like button. It helps this video spread to more people. And if you're interested in weekly Star Wars RPG content, consider subscribing. A huge thank you to all of our Patreon subscribers. You make a huge difference. And thanks to everybody for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. I have a really cool video for next week. I'm excited for y'all to see it. But until then, and as always, may the force be with you.